What's going on guys? How you doing? Gypsy Danger 7 is back with the first video of the day, so let's get right into it. And I want to talk about two hoax stories that were made up. One more recent and one uh, a couple weeks ago. And I'm gonna go with the one that happened a couple weeks ago in regards to a former NFL player by the name of Edon Kaufman. Uh, this situation took place in Georgia. That's right, the same Georgia where we had that confrontation between Representative Erica Thomas and Eric Sparks and all that controversy. Um, I will have that video that I made regarding that, the link in the description box. But in the case of Edon Kaufman, basically he vandalized his own business. He ripped the TVs off the drywall, okay, and threw them in the back of his SUV and used black spray paint to make a backwards ass swastika and put down MAGA, okay. Here's the thing about this whole swastika thingy. Of all the times you idiots out there call us Trump supporters Nazis, can you at least draw the swastika the correct way? Good Lord. Anyway, moving right along. So, in the meantime, while all this is going down, one of the workers noticed all this commotion. And you know that old saying, where are the cops when we need them? Just so happens the cops were happened to be there. So, of course, the worker's like, uh, there's something going on in there. I work there. And so the cops followed the SUV. There was no real actual speed chase, whatever, but they pulled them over without incident and noticed, yep, the TVs with the drywall st still stuck to the mounts of the TV. Remember, he <laughs> ripped them off and black spray paint on his fingers, the same black spray paint that he used to draw that backwards ass swastika sign and put down MAGA. And of course he tried doing all this to blame Trump supporters, but the real deal was because he wanted insurance money, you know, insurance scamming basically. So, moving right along, going to Washington, D.C., a young girl, uh, 12 or 13 years old, uh, Amari Allen, if I'm wrong with the name, correct me. But anyway, she tried to sit there and say that three white students called her dreadlocks nappy and ugly, and they, you know, proceeded to cut a few off her hair. Of course, thank God, it's not true. You know, it's all based off a lie and everything else like that. The reason why this is important is because she goes to the same school where Karen Pence, that's white, the wife of our vice president, Mike Pence, happens to work at. She's a part-time teacher there. And we already know all the controversy that when she got hired at that school, you know, anyway, that's not the point. But the point is, you see how they try to make this a big deal because of who actually works at that school, okay? It, it was just basically, oh yeah, of course they try to push that whole that racism narrative and everything else like that, but of course to add fuel to the fire, oh my God, Karen Pence works there. She's the wife of Mike Pence, vice president of the United States. Yeah, that one. You see the narrative, you see the agenda, you see the propaganda they're trying to push over here. They're trying to create a, re a race war going on. And who's giving these people you know, Amar Allen, Amari Allen and uh, Edon Kaufman, these ideas. You guessed it, the Fool Aid Media. The Fool Aid Media is promoting this propaganda, is pushing this agenda, creating this hatred and violence and division in this country while they try to sit there and blame President Trump. Remember what I keep saying, the guiltiest dog is the one that barks the loudest. And those who do most of the, you know, of the accusing are the ones doing it themselves. And so, you know, again, what, what does the media sit there and blame President Trump? Oh, President Trump's rhetoric, but yet it's the Fool Aid media. Again, I point out to you that is responsible for all this hatred and division and violence in this country, but yet they want to pass it off on President Trump. <sighs> we need to get rid of these activist journalists and we need to put journalists that have journalistic integrity that are willing to do the jobs. You know, they're supposed to report the news, not make up the news. And you can see what's going on right now. First, they tried to, they, they tried to perpetuate this whole Russian collusion story for two and a half years, wasting our time and tax dollars. And now they're going after this whole Ukraine deal. This whole Ukraine deal that President, that then Vice President Joe Biden is guilty of doing. And even there's, a, there's even a video of him saying that he will withhold a billion dollars from the Ukraine to the former president of Ukraine at that time. And even though you, he even said it that the Ukrainian president at that time was saying, you're not the president. And he says, no, I'm the vice president. I could talk to, you know, to then President Obama. 
but yet they're looking at President Trump for doing exactly what Joe Biden did. <laughs> but you see the stories though, you see what's going on, okay? Today is October 1st, so that means now we only have a year and one month left before next year's elections. And what do you think these, what these leftist lunatics are gonna do? What do you think the Fool Aid Media is trying to do? They're trying to create all these controversies. They're trying to distract us from the, you know, from the elections of next year. They're trying to create these controversies to make it harder for President Trump to be reelected. That's all they're doing. And, and all these fake, fake ass hoax stories about hate crimes and, and vandalism and cutting dreadlocks, that's just the beginning. Like I said, they went from Russian collusion to now this Ukrainian mania. And now, you know, like I said, Edon Kaufman trying to do a part three of Juicy Smoulier. And now you got Amari Allen trying to do a part four of Juicy Smoulier. And oh, by the way, if you have not watched Dave Chappelle's Sticks and Stones, <laughs> you'll know who exactly who Juicy Smoulier is. <laughs> But anyway, that's the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, rate, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. Greatly appreciate it. And if you want to support this channel, uh, link in the description box, Cash App, and the promo code for the Cash App as well is on there too. So I will see you in the next video if I have time to make it. Until then, God bless you. Jesus loves you. Holy Ghost guides you. Later.